what is up you guys? Have I had breakfast? No. Holiday taste test with you guys. Could give two shits if they're a day past expiration date. Better late than never, I always say. Don't get me wrong. If I was to smoke a bowl or something, I could devour. Let's not get it twisted, but... What is up you guys? Good morning. It is the next day. Your girl got a little distracted with some TikToks today. So I figured why not sit down, get cozy, made a coffee using my new mug. Like I'm obsessed. I love it so much. And it's like, it, it feels good in the hand. You guys know what I mean. Comment down below if you just, if you're that way with coffee mugs. But anyways, I'm going to do the holiday taste test with you guys. Um, a little late just got a little busy with vlogmas but um better late than never i always say so um don't mind me okay i look a hot freaking mess have not showered fell asleep with my makeup on have not gone to the gym you know the drill but we're just we're friends okay so oh my hair is a mess but anyways so first thing we're gonna try are these kit kats have I had breakfast? No. So I guess this is my cheese, Louise. I'm a hot mess. So first thing we're going to try are these gingerbread cookie Kit Kats. I've never tried gingerbread cookie Kit Kats. So if I could open the frick, cheese. Alrighty. I hope you like these. I got these hoping that Derek would like them because he's a big fan of gingerbread because, um... I can't have a bag of Kit Kats laying around, so let's give it a try. Here's the little packaging. Cute and festive. All right. Ooh, it's a nice caramel color. All right, cheers. Mmm. Those are good. Want to try one? Huh? Our gingerbread Kit Kat? Yeah. I definitely like regular Kit Kats better and the white chocolate Kit Kats, but they're good. They taste like that's good gingerbread flavor. Chloe is just like wondering what the hell I'm doing. Okay, next thing we're gonna try are these. Boom Chica Pop. I don't know how. Okay, I love the color of the bag. Such cute packaging. Boom Chica Pop. Hot cocoa marshmallow flavored drizzle kettle corn. Let's see what these taste like. Hmm. I love the packaging. 10 out of 10 for this. Ooh, smells delicious. And that's what it looks like inside. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here, let me put some out in my hand so you guys can get the full effect of what it looks like. Focus. It's not really wanting to focus on the popcorn, but it's like yummy goodness. Okay, this is dangerous. I wasn't sure how the like hot cocoa was going to be with the kettle corn, but it's basically just, I don't know. It's not really a Hershey chocolate. I don't even know. Chocolate with a marshmallow coating so bomb um yeah this is dangerous okay really really good 10 out of 10 i definitely love that better than the kit kat okay wow this fire is really getting hot all right <laughs> you want to try this one it's good oh god okay next thing we're going to try are these decked out trees Got these from Trader Joe's. You guys, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in so long and I'm dying for my like essential favorites. I hope you like these, Derek, because these look delicious and I don't know if I can have these in the house. These look so festive. And the presentation is 10 out of 10, I must say. They come in a tray like this. Derek, look how good these look. Yeah. Here's a close-up. 
milk chocolate filling with white chocolate drizzle and festive sprinkles. Okay. Oh, wow. The texture alone. They're good. And it's not like too much either. Like, if I was stoned, I could probably devour this whole tray just because it's not too, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not too rich. It's like something I've had before. It's soft. It's not, I don't know. You wanna try one? Well, they're wrapped. No. <laughs> they're good. Right? Anyways, they're good. Uh, would I buy them again? Probably not. Um, but they're cute for like a little holiday thing. They're good. They're good. Um, put it this way. I'm not worried about them being in the house, if that makes sense. So next thing we're going to try is a classic. I've had this before. I'm not even going to lie. And this is like the end all be all of holiday festivity treats to me like baklava is just where it's at no ands ifs or buts i don't care what you say have you ever tried baklava before oh there's just nothing like it i'm sorry there's just nothing like it so i got this little sample tray from walmart and i <laughs> this right here is gonna get me in trouble can you give me a knife babe or something to tear into this. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna cut a slit. Oh, wow. If you've never had baklava before, you're not living. I'm sorry, it's just, and I'm already wanting to grab for this. The, oh my God, wow. It's a deep layer there, whoa. I don't even know how to describe to you the texture or anything it's seriously like one of my favorites like of all time oh my i don't even know how to explain it it's flaky mm. Mm. oh my god Oh my god. I have been waiting to open this for so long. And I'm telling you right now, if you're Walmart or I don't even know where else you can get it, but if any place that has like a bakery has baklava still, run out and go get it. And I know this is supposed to be like a holiday taste test of things I've never tried. So I may have cheated a little, but I don't care. This is so good and you guys need to try and that's going to get me in trouble. Excuse me, Chloe. Are you ready to open up the next treat? Okay, so next thing we're gonna try is this little Candy Pop Snickers popcorn. Um, I just couldn't pass this up and I went with the flavor that I thought I would least like the most when I was with you guys at Walmart that one day. Um, Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's literally like whole nine yards. So you've got the caramel, the peanuts, the Snickers chocolate all over the popcorn. I feel like that should be the piece that I try because it's just got all the goodies on it. Right off the bat, I like this better. I will say the popcorn is definitely very airy and light, but there's like no flavoring on the popcorn. Like it's just plain popcorn, no butter, salt or anything, which I'm assuming, you know, they were trying to have all the chocolate and caramel do the talking. A hair stuck in my nail. Okay, this is good, but I expected to like this the way I liked this. Does that make sense? I thought these were gonna be the opposite, and I like this one way more 
than this. Huh. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I was to smoke a bowl or something, I could devour. Let's not get it twisted, but I'm just surprised by this one. I expected to absolutely be obsessed, but this stuff takes the cake by far. And then last treat, save the best for last, well not the best for last, the baklava was the best, but I am so excited to dig into this. You have no idea. I'm sorry, but Nutty Buddies are my absolute weakness. I could eat a 12 pack, hands down, no problem, all by myself. You can even ask Derek, like it's a, it's a problem. I used to get them all the time and just keep going back keep going back like I cannot keep them in the house but when I saw the holiday ones I was like okay we've got to dive in we've got to dive in best if used by December 28th 21 hey Google what's today's date it is Wednesday December 29th 2021 and by the well we're gonna dig in anyway and they're still gonna be good I don't care what the oh oh cool they're wrapped singly so that's that's fun and fresh Usually they're a lot thicker than this and they're like a pack of two if that makes sense But super cute and festive Okay, let's dive in I'm so excited and I honestly could give two shits if they're a day past expiration date They're still gonna be good The smell alone is bringing back so many memories Okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like white chocolate, not everybody, but it's not, it's just regular. Oh. I haven't had one of these in probably years. Baby, want a nutty buddy? Oh, wow. One of them is 120 calories. Alrighty. Well, so that is it for the holiday taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it was so late, but again, better late than never. Highly recommend the Boom Chica Pop. Obviously, the Nutter Butters, you just can't go wrong. And then, of course, the baklava. Like, those are my favorites. And the Kit Kats were good, too. I probably wouldn't buy them again. But yeah, those were my favorites. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And you like me, you're vibing. Consider subscribing before you leave. Would love for you to join the fam. It's a good freaking time. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy New Year. I can't believe we're almost into 2022. Lots of new content coming. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to keep up with me full time. Full time. No, in real time. Enjoy the bloopers, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. If this camera does not focus on me instead of the freaking fire, I'm gonna. Chloe, why do you keep jumping up and down? Figure it out. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next one. And. What are they? with milk chocolate filling, white chocolate drizzle, and festive sprinkles. Oops. It's focusing on the fire, God damn it! Focus on me. Focus on me. Can you give me a knife, babe? Or something? To tear into this? You. The fire is hot. I have a bubble in my... <coughs> Those are going to get me in trouble. Whew. Ow. Okay. That is not funny. Do you guys see what's happening here? Do you see this? That is embarrassing. Do you guys see... Look, what the fuck is going on i literally just run my hand through my hair but because they're all sticky and i'm wearing press on this literally yeah it's taking off my nail okay do you see that wow that's atrocious
I should be embarrassed. Okay, these have got to go. These have got to <sighs> So you kissed a girl just cause you wanted to. Thinking about what you made her do She started doing her hair and makeup all oh, just for you